This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a temperature monitoring system using I2C supported LM75 or CJMCU-75 or LM75 A sensor module Arduino Nano, I2C supported SSD1306 or LED display module and a 5 volt buzzer. So far I have covered majority of the temperature sensors including DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, BMP180 temperature, pressure and altitude sensor, DS18B21 via digital temperature sensor, MLX9614 infrared temperature sensor, MAX6675 K type thermocouple and so many other sensors. I will add links to all these sensors in the description. I have these different types of sensors which I have already used in basic, intermediate and advanced level projects. Every temperature sensor has got unique features on the basis of which it is used in different projects. If you want to monitor temperature and humidity, then you can use the popular DHT11 sensor. If you want to measure or monitor the temperature of the water or any other liquid then you can use the DS18B20 one wire waterproof digital temperature sensor. If along with the temperature you also want to measure pressure and altitude then you can use BMP180 sensor. If you want to measure the temperature of humans, animals or other objects without physical contact then you can use the MLX9614 infrared temperature sensor. Using this sensor you can make a non-contact thermometer or temperature monitor for patients, for example the COVID patients. MLX9614 is insanely fast and accurate. Recently I used it with the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and I designed myself an IoT temperature monitoring system. If you want to measure high temperatures up to 1000 degrees Celsius then you can use the max 6675 amplifier board and k-type thermocouple so this was a brief introduction to these different types of temperature sensors and now you can decide yourself which temperature sensor you need for your project anyway let's get back to our original topic before i'm going to explain the features specifications it's interfacing with the arduino and programming first let's watch the lm75a temperature sensor in action. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs, links to the Ultium designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I have connected the LM75 temperature sensor or LED display module and the 5 volt buzzer as per the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. I have done its programming in a way that it displays the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit on the OLED display module. Besides this, I have also added a limit so whenever the temperature exceeds that limit the buzzer will immediately turn on. So let's go ahead and power up the LM75 based temperature monitoring system. On the OLED display module you can see temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit 
this is the ambient temperature it's 4th of June 2022 while I'm recording this video nowadays the weather in Pakistan is really hot anyway now I'm going to place this sensor somewhere where the sunlight will directly fall on this temperature sensor just look at the temperature the global warming is really destroying this planet and this is because of the excessive carbon dioxide emission now let's go ahead and apply some heat to check if the buzzer will turn on right now the temperature threshold value is 45 degrees celsius I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the CJMCU-75 I2C supported temperature sensor which is also known as LM75 or LM75A temperature sensor. With this temperature sensor you can read temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. The temperature range is from minus 55 degrees Celsius to plus 125 degrees celsius the lm75a is an industrial standard digital temperature sensor with an integrated sigma delta analog to digital converter adc the lm75a provides 9-bit digital temperature readings with an accuracy of plus minus 2 degrees celsius from minus 25 degrees to 100 degrees celsius and with an accuracy of plus minus 3 degrees Celsius or minus 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. The LM75A operates with a single supply from 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts. Due to this wide range of input voltages, it can be easily used with 3.3 volt compatible controller boards like ESP8266, ESP32, etc. and 5 volt compatible controller boards communication is accomplished over a two wire interface which operates up to 400 kilohertz lm75a has three selectable logic address pins a0 a1 and a2 allowing up to eight lm75a devices to operate on the same two wire bus a0 a1 and a2 can be used to set an i2c address you can short any of these address pins with a VCC or ground. This way you will be able to connect A temperature sensors without any address conflict. The LM75A has a dedicated over temperature output OS with programmable limit and hysteresis. LM75A temperature sensor can be used in base stations, electronic test equipment, office electronics, personal computers, environmental monitoring and any other system in which thermal management is critical to performance now let's take a look at the circuit diagram the scl and sda pins of the lm75a temperature sensor and oled display module are connected together and then connected with the arduino a5 and a4 pins a5 is the scl and a4 is the sda while the vcc and ground pins are connected with the arduino 5 volt and ground pins the 5 volt buzzer is controlled using the 3 pin of the arduino we use 2n2222 npn transistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor to control the 5 volt buzzer 
the transistor and resistor make the driver circuit. On the left side is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. The output of the 5 volt regulated power supply is connected with a VN pin of the Arduino. Since I am using 7805 voltage regulator, so I can use voltages between 7 and 28 volts to power up the Arduino. Due to this wide input voltage range, I can use a 12 volt adopter a battery, solar panel, etc. to power up the Arduino. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The Adafruit GFX.h and Adafruit SSD1306.h libraries I have been using for quite a long time and I have already explained how to download and use these libraries. You can watch my video on the OADD display module. You will also need the LM75A library which you can download from our website. To add this library, simply click on the sketch menu and then go to include library and click on the add zip library. Browse to the desired location and select the zip folder and then finally click on the open button. As I have already added this library so I will click on the cancel button. The purpose of this program is to read the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit and to check if the temperature is above or below the threshold value. If the temperature has exceeded 45 degrees Celsius, then turn on the buzzer. And if the temperature is below 45 degrees Celsius, then turn off the buzzer. Besides this, I also print the temperature values on the OLED display module. So that's all about the programming. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.